Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Unfortunately, Brown could not join us for this week's picks, so you just have me once again. Uh, Brown is a busy boy. He's also very, very lazy, I found out. Super lazy, super lazy. Please, uh, I'll leave his Twitter in, in, in the description. Please start sending him hate comments that he is lazy. Alright, don't ban me for send, telling people to send hate, because it's just a joke. He is my friend. But, and most likely no one will see this and do that. But, his Twitter will be down there. Go follow him. And why, look at his great tweets. He posts out selfies daily uh, of his physique. Uh, he's been working, you know what I mean? Uh, so, yeah, yeah, go give him some love there. And maybe a little bit of hate, too. Tell him he's lazy. That's what I'll be doing after this video. All right. So, <clears throat> it is Thursday night. I waited till Thursday night because I thought he was going to be joining us, but he's not. So, I waited for no reason. So, this video will be going up on Thursday night, Friday morning, which is kind of late, but is what it is. Can't really do anything about that. Uh... Let's just get straight into the picks. Of course, Thursday night football game. The, my point of saying that was that Thursday night football game passed. Uh, the Jaguars beat the Jets, so that means we'll just put two ties down for the record of me and Brown because we didn't we didn't talk about that game at all. I kind of I was very very busy today. Um, I was filming some other stuff and then I had some people over to watch um, the Rangers game, the Rangers versus Islanders. So yeah, and we also watched the Thursday night football game. So that kind of took up my whole night. I didn't have time for anything else, and it was kind of cr crossed my mind. Uh, it m didn't cross my mind that we need to talk about the picks so that's my bad all right so let's go into straight to saturday slate um we had the bears and the bills saturday one o'clock there's a couple games on saturday one o'clock actually there's a lot of games on saturday one o'clock holy shit all right so bills minus eight favorites on the road at the bears um i think this one's pretty easy for me the bills should beat the breaks off the bears here even though the bears really play kind of competitive games i'm gonna go with the bills here and the minus eight next we have the seahawks and the chiefs the Chiefs barely beat the Texans. This is how the Chiefs go. Like, they'll barely beat a team that is really bad, or they'll blow the living roof off of them. So, the Chiefs are minus 10 favorites at home. And the thing is that I feel like this line doesn't matter if it was at minus 7 or minus 12. You know what I mean? Like, anywhere in that range, it's kind of the same thing. Like, will they blow them out, or will they let them in the game? I mean, I guess that's the same with everything else, but everyone, but, like, this the Chiefs are known for, like, hold, letting people into games. So, with that being said, give me Chiefs to win. The Seahawks really need this game, so give me Seahawks plus 10. All right, next we got Bengals and the Patriots. This one seems like the easiest one for me. I know the Patriots' defense is pretty solid, but the Bengals have been kind of rolling here. Um, give me Bengals, and, of course, the spread's at minus three so for the Bengals, so I'll take Bengals minus three on the road at the Patriots. It could be a tough game for the Bengals, but I think they're going to come out and do some great stuff. I need Jamar Chase to go off fancy. <laughs> next, this one actually might be a banger. The Giants and the Vikings. The Vikings are minus four favorites at home, hosting the Giants. The Giants come off a huge win against the Commies. The Vikings come back from 33 points. The Lakers come back in NFL history. Coming to this match, uh, game match, whatever. I kind of, I think I'm going to go with the safe one here. I'm just going to go Vikings to win. Giants plus four. I feel like it's a lot of points to give up. It's not just a straight pick them. Like, plus four is a decent amount of points. So, yeah, give me that. I feel like this game will probably be close. If not, the Vikings could, the Vikings could show up and be the best team in the league. The Vikings could show up and be the worst team in the league. I wouldn't be surprised either way. Next, we have the Lions and the Panthers. The Lions are minus two and a half point favorites visiting the Panthers. This one's also kind of easy for me. I'm going to go Lions to win. Minus two and a half for the Lions. I feel like the Lions have been rolling. Um, they are due for a letdown, realistically, but I don't think it's going to happen this week against the Panthers because they have a Panther to piss for. Next, we have the Texans and the Titans. Um, Texans are plus three only visiting the Titans. The Titans have been reeling as late. They've been very, very bad. Um, but with that being said, I think this is another one where I just go Titans to win. Titans minus three. I feel like the value is there. Take the Titans as a team that can bounce back this week. I know Ryan Tannehill's out, but he wasn't really up to much anyways. Like, come on, man. He was, really wasn't up to much. And the Texans are the worst team in the league. Next, we got the Saints and the Browns. Still Saturday, 1 o'clock. Oh, they have almost all the games on Saturday, 1 o'clock. That's crazy. All right. Um, next, we have the Saints and the Browns. Uh, Saints, or, yeah, Browns are minus three at home with the Saints visiting them. Uh, the Browns have really not been that great. Deshaun Watson has been a letdown since coming back. And I bet against them every time. And they they keep winning, but not really because of Deshaun Watson. Their defense is very good. And the Saints are not good. They're not a good team. They, I know they beat the Falcons this week, but the Falcons aren't good either. Uh, I'm going to take the Browns this one. I feel like they're, the Browns defense is probably the best unit on the field by far. So I'll just go with the best unit on the field. Give me Browns. I'm going to go 50 50 on this, though. I'll take Browns to win. Saints plus three. It's going to be a close one. All right, next we have Ravens hosting the Falcons. The spread's at minus six and a half. The Ravens' offense was terrible against the Browns with Lamar out. So the spread being at minus six and a half to me, at least to me, means that Lamar should be playing. Um,. But that's kind of... Wait, actually, I think I might have seen... Let me check real quick. That he is out. I didn't know how to rule them out. If they rule them out, I don't know how this is at 6.5. I'm definitely not taking that. I feel like they, they had them out. I feel like he would be in at 6.5, right? 
Uh, let me check. He's on my fantasy team, so I'll know, I'll know in a second. Uh, should have already. Yeah, they ruled him out. The Ravens have ruled Jackson out for Saturday's game against the Falcons. So yeah, with that being said, uh, give me Ravens to win just because I feel like they're a better overall team. The Falcons have been really bad, but easily give me Falcons plus six and a half. All right, next we have the 49ers and the Commies. Um, the 49ers are hosting the Commies and minus six and a half favorites. This is another one. Give me 49ers. Give me minus six and a half. They should blow the brakes off the command, command, Commanders. I'm surprised that's not a little bit higher of a spread, to be honest. Um, next we have the Eagles and the, visiting the Cowboys. This game, as an Eagles fan, was a lot meant a lot meant to mean a lot, but. Dallas losing last week to the Jags, and then Hurts not playing. It's kind of taking everything out of it, to be honest. It was supposed to be like the big heights match you were waiting for, but I don't even know if the Eagles will be trying at this point. Like, they might. I don't think you'll see everything out of their playbook that you might have seen if this game meant something, but it really doesn't. Um, the Eagles need to win one of the remaining three to clinch the one seed. Obviously, they don't want to leave that to Week 18, but next week they have the Saints. They should be able to win that game. Um, if they lose this to the Cowboys, they could beat the Cowboys still, but I'm just saying I don't think they're going to throw everything on the table to try and beat the Cowboys this week. In case they match up one more time in the playoffs, you want to keep some stuff in your back pocket. At least that's what I would do. Uh, the Cowboys have to win all three of their games, which is very possible as well. But I don't think the Eagles lose all three of the remaining. Based on them only losing one up to this point, I would be astonished if they lost all three to end the season. So give me Cowboys, but give me Eagles plus four and a half. I like the value there. It could be a close game either way. Dallas is not really that great, to be honest. Uh, I know you might be like, hater, hater, but like they're really not great they barely beat the texans and then they lose the jags like those aren't great teams either so the eagles as a team could probably hang even without hurts Gardner Minshew is like a very capable backup to be honest all right next we got the raiders and the steelers the steelers are minus two and a half point favorites hosting the raiders the raiders have a lot of high-end talent that i'd be scared of versus the steelers who don't really have a lot of great talent i don't even know if kenny pink i know kenny pickett i know is questionable i don't know if he's playing or not but yeah i'd be very scared to pick the Steelers if he's not playing. Without the information, though, I'm just going to go, I thought the Steelers are a better team. Sorry, it's very late. I thought the Steelers are a better team. Just give me Steelers. Give me minus two and a half. They're also still playing. No, I don't know if they are, actually. They might not be playing for anything. But give me Steelers anyways. Actually, you know what? They're playing for... At least I know the Steelers are playing for Tomlin's perfect... Not perfect, but winning record streak. They're definitely playing for them. So let me know. I'll tell you that right now. So yeah, give me Steelers. Give me minus two and a half. Now you move on to Sunday... Christmas Day. Also, happy holidays. I should have mentioned that earlier. I'll mention it at the end again. Um, Packers and Dolphins. This is actually kind of a bit of a banger. The Dolphins kind of fell down the pack, but the Packers need to win this to keep their playoff hopes alive. The Dolphins essentially need to do the same. Um, I feel like the Dolphins are the better team, but I kind of want to pick the upset here. So I'm just going to go Packers and plus three and a half. Fuck playing it safe. The Dolphins have been showing, kind of been showing that they're a little bit fraudy recently. So let's see. Maybe the Packers will come out. They'll run the ball like crazy and they'll come out with a win. If not, I think the three and a half. I would take the three and a half either way. I feel like it's going to be a close one. Um, next, we got the Broncos and the Rams. The Broncos are minus three favorites. Visiting the Rams, it's crazy to say that they're minus three favorites to anyone with how their season's gone. But that's how bad the Rams have been, and I don't blame them for this spread. And I'm going to take the Broncos and the minus three. I feel like it's the only logical explanation here. Next, we have the Bucks and the Cardinals. The Cardinals are plus seven and a half point underdogs. With the Buccaneers visiting them, them with the Bucks visiting them. I know the Bucks need to win this game badly. But I feel like plus seven and a half is too much over a touchdown for the way the Bucks' offense has been performing this year. So give me the Cardinals have been piss poor too. Don't get me wrong, but give me the Buccaneers to win. But give me the Cardinals plus seven and a half. I think the Bucks do win, but I think it's closer than over a touchdown. Then the Monday night game. Oops. Oh, it's eight fifteen. All right, Monday night we have uh, Chargers and Colts. Chargers are minus four and a half point favorites visiting the Colts. The Colts are a terrible, terrible, terrible team. Give me the Chargers. Give me the minus four and a half. All right, so that will do it for uh, this week's picks. Thank you for watching the video. Subscribe to Feichel. I'm leaving Matt's Twitter. Go tell me he's lazy. Um, happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Whatever else you celebrate. Happy New Year. But you will see from me before the New Year, I think. You should see for me before the New Year. I'll try and upload some more stuff. I got off some school now, so I kept, gotta stop being lazy myself and put out some more videos. I actually recorded a chicken sandwich video that should be coming out. Uh, keep in mind, that will be coming out this week. Along with... Uh, Disney theme song tier list that will also be coming out and yeah that's uh, maybe I'll do some hockey video this week too I need to stop slacking and get some more content out also check out my TikTok there's a lot of shit that goes on there I upload more there probably than YouTube just cause there's more discoverability that makes sense um, I'll see you guys next time like, subscribe, comment and see you